So here we're going to talk about the focus time. This is the part, the next part of your training. Uh, congrats, you made it. Uh, every day is an opportunity to live in to God's activity in the world. God is active. God is restoring the world, and this is where we join in that process through through discovering where where and who we are, and also discovering what we can do in the world around us. And the focus time really lives into that idea. So every time a Restore Highland group meets. Uh, the Spirit is present and is involved in transforming uh, those who, who are participating, those who are allowing space for the Spirit to move. So here's a time where we take an active role in discussing and considering, but a passive role as the Spirit is involved and transformative. Now, the, in, the intention of the focus time is to gather and address and discuss a, a Christocentric principle. So think of that as a, a Christ-oriented or a Christ-centered uh, principle. And in doing so, we practice opening ourselves up to the Spirit's activity. So here's the rhythm. Before the group gathers, an email will be sent out at the start of each week that will have information about that group's focus time for the week. And that it'll also be available in paper format on Monday mornings. So if you, if you prefer that, that's available to you as well. And this information is going to kind of serve as preparation for the group's gathering, a launch pad, if you will. Uh, where you'll have the Christocentric principle, so the, the Christ-centered focus, as well as uh, a passage and a bunch of questions. You know, these aren't questions that you have to answer per se. There's not necessarily a right or wrong answer. These are ex exploration uh, questions. And the group will have this in advance so they can go ahead and start exploring the ideas before the group even gathers. Uh, that way they can come prepared, they can come having already begun the transformation process. Uh, so that, you know, that's what that is. Now, the goal of the evening is to, to help the group shift towards making an I will statement. Now, this is a, a commitment of sorts, um, or you might say an experiment, on how the group members will enact the transforming principle in their coming week. Now, the, the next time you get together, the subsequent meeting, you'll then ask the how did it go question. And this will be a way of reflecting on how things went, as well as discerning how to continue this practice in, in future sessions. Now, a good a good I will statement uses the SMART principle. So this is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time sensitive. So you wanna say, my statement will be specific. It will be measurable. It will be attainable. It will be realistic. And ideally it will be time sensitive. You'll be back in a week to discuss. So yeah, self-evident. Uh, now an example of a, a poor I will statement will be, I will, be more patient at work when people talk badly about me. Okay, reflect about on reflect back on the SMART principle. Okay, doesn't really work very well. Now, a strong I will statement will be, I will meet with Gladys on Thursday and when, we are, when we're already planning on meeting to discuss our reports and I'm gonna apologize for talking poorly about her work ethic behind her back. You know, that's, um, time sensitive, it's gonna be within the next week. It's realistic, you're already gonna meet on Thursday. Uh, it's specific, it's measurable. That's a good I will statement. So that's a good example to go off of.